Today we have the Technix uh, SL1000, the new record player from Technix here, which is something like the top model not only of Technix, they want it to be the top model of all the record players that are available on the market. And there are not very many that are direct drive. This is like Technix was from the very beginning of the SL10. This is direct drive. The basics is you have a 9 kilogram platter which has to be screwed on it to be fixed. You have a very, very big and strong motor so you can't stop it. It will just keep playing whatever happens to the platter. You have a control here. If you want to accompany the music with a piano or with a fiddle for example, uh, you just can't pitch it. And it's very, very cool. Uh, that's for all those people who just say, I have my piano, I want to play with the music that I'm listening to. If you have a system that can play very loud and have a place where it is just situated and you have resonance in the system, just do it. Yeah. 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 Nothing there. So it seems to be really very, very calm. This looks last, just like the same uh, than the arm on the uh, SL1200. It's one inch longer. It's uh, also the magnesium thing, not only aluminium. I think the bearings are really okay. Maybe they are greater arms in the market, but the complete system seems to be so, let me say, just fitting together. This is the DS Audio 002, the cheapest one of the optical cartridges from Japan. Uh, they are kind of different because they don't have some problems that normal MM or MC or MI uh, cartridges have. It's very dynamic. It's very fast, it comes with its own phono stage and you have to use that, you can't use another one because this one just gives you another signal than the normal MM or MC system uh, mm. cartridges do. The price? Just about 15. 15,000 euros, yeah. yeah. The cartridge with the phono stage together is 5,200, so the whole system is just about 20,000. 